Um, it's a hard time for all of us, I think. And I thought I would offer whatever I could offer to help us get through this, to kind of see what might be helpful to, as we endure the social distancing and the worry and the anxiety. So I thought I would just um, offer whatever I could offer. I want to start with the uh, story. It's an old story. Uh, you may have heard of it before. But a long time ago, an old farmer, uh, he used a horse to plow his field. And one day the horse jumped out of the pen and ran away. And his neighbors heard about it and they came to him and said, oh, how unfortunate, how, what a bad thing to happen to you. And he said, well, we'll see. So a day later, his horse comes running back with two wild horses, bringing two wild horses with it. And the, man, and the man's neighbor said, oh, how fortunate. You have three horses now. Now you can do lots of work. And he said, well, we'll see. Well, his, his young adult son was trying to ride one of the wild horses the next day and got bucked off. And he broke his leg. And the neighbors came and said, oh, how awful, such a bad thing, how unfortunate you are to have such a bad thing to happen. Now your son can't help you work. And the man said, well, we'll see. A couple days later, the king's army came, coming, came through, and they were conscripting every young man to join the army. But because the man's son had a broken leg, they didn't take him. To the army. And the neighbors came around and said, oh, how fortunate that your son didn't have to go to the army. And the man said, we'll see. Now that story for me is helpful because one thing is bad things happen and good things happen and equally. And we never know which is which, but we spend a lot of time trying to de decide which is which. And the things that we think are bad, we try to get rid of. And we spend a lot of energy bemoaning the fact that this bad thing happened, where in reality, good things happen too, equally. It's kind of like, you know, night and day. We don't spend a whole lot of time bemoaning the fact that night comes around and the sun goes down, because we know that's how it works. That's reality, it's how it works. So we do what we need to do to deal with the darkness. We get the lights on, we light candles, we do whatever. But something is different when we label something as bad. We spend a lot of time and energy saying things like, well, that shouldn't happen. And why did this happen to me? And then we look at the world and say, well, this world is coming down on me. Or he might even say to God, well, God hates me because I got this. Well, you know, especially during this time of the virus, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, God is punishing us for something. Well, in actuality, good things happen, bad things happen. Now, if we want to waste all that energy bemoaning the fact and uh, that bad things are happening, well, we can waste that energy. I think it's, and it doesn't feel very good. It causes us a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, and uh, zaps our energy. Whereas if we're able to, we can take that energy, quit wasting it that way, and apply it to dealing with what we need to deal with. We got a lot to deal with just in kind of doing what we need to do. We don't need to waste a lot of energy worrying and, and saying the universe is out to get us and God's out to get us and why does this happen and I, I must have been a bad person that this happened. That's a lot of wasted energy. In, the, in Jesus uh, preaching on, on the lilies of the field, his, his, his preaching there, he said, don't worry about tomorrow. Today has enough troubles of its own. I think that's what he was saying. That's the point he was making. He said, we don't know what the future holds. 
good, bad, it'll hold both. But we can't do anything about that anyway. So why don't we just kind of see what's in front of us, deal with what's in front of us, do what we can to, to change things if we can, and that's good enough. That's all we can do. And, you know, doing something about today, that's much more manageable than trying to figure out how, what to do about tomorrow and the next day and the next day and next year. We can do something about today. We can't do anything about the future. So I invite you to kind of maybe reflect on that. And uh, if you can, kind of, you know, take some of that energy of worry that we're all doing, we're all anxious and that's just human. Maybe we can kind of take that and direct it a little bit more to what we can do something about rather than what we can't. Getting food on the table, finding toilet paper or whatever we're doing. Um, and maybe we can be a little bit more at peace during this anxious time. Um, we, uh, that's my hope for you, for all of you. So, um, so again, uh, stay well, stay healthy, and God bless.